I've said this a long time about Dave Young. What? Let this guy, give this guy a little freedom. Give this guy some minutes. And I, it, it's easier to do that now when you, you're missing Kevin Herter and Malik Monk. Yeah. But this guy is shooting better than ever from three on the season. Mm. I, in his career, this is the best he's ever shot it from three. How comfortable does he look? I mean, he had 14 points in this game. He's attacking the rim. He had that one play that was an unbelievable high floater off the window. That yep. was money. He's so comfortable from three. Coming into tonight on corner threes, shooting 49% on corner threes. That's a great mark for Davion Mitchell. I want to see what his updated numbers are on the season, too, because, look, he's been... This isn't just like, oh, you know, he's he's doing okay for this stretch. He is doing okay for this stretch, but it's really the entire season for Davion where the three-point shooting that used to be such an issue for him has improved so much. Let's see on the season here. Where is Davion Mitchell? Okay. Right there. You missed him. I at missed a, him. At 11. He is shooting 36% from three. That's not like an unbelievable red hot number, mm -mm. but that is such an improvement for him. Well, and that's, uh, and if you look at since the All Star break, that's the stat. I was four, looking for forty four percent. Yeah, from three. you'd sent me that the other day, and that's the one I was looking for, and how efficient he's been from three point land. You look at forty four percent, and then you just look at him on the uh, just everywhere on the floor, you know, from the field, and he's had a very efficient number. So he's feeling confident but i'm sure he's feeling confident because that longer leash is there you're there's, playing more minutes there's a different type of opportunity there for him and i what i love about davion he still understands to be disciplined and not just do whatever and not just be out there as a placeholder he understands that he has to be a threat keon ellis understands he has to be a threat and i think mike brown has done a much better job putting that into these guys brains like look you might have a short leash, but your short leash is going to be there because you're not providing because you're not. And it's not about providing sure. points. It's just about providing like being a threat, being able to be a scorer, being willing to be a scorer, be a cutter and do what you need to do. And that's what you see more of. My pushback on that specifically about Davion. It's hard when you come in, um, you know, at the 550 mark of a first quarter and then you're out of the game at 310. You know, no, and that's what I'm such, saying. It's such a smart, and that's just the rotation. That's not because he's doing anything wrong. It's like, how I'm do you saying, get in any rhythm when you're playing two So minutes? what I'm saying is now that the opportunity is yep. there because body's gone down, yeah. right? And that's, that's where I'm at yeah, yeah. now. It's like, you still understand that leash is short. Even if bodies are down, you still got to be that threat. You got to be a willing scorer. And that's what we're seeing these guys do a much better job of. He was great tonight. He I was. mean, and you know what he does defensively? I think he's playing even more inspired right now on that end because he's just playing free he's not worried about i'm coming out in two minutes dude when you're an nba player if you look at i chart every single substitution during a game <laughs> and you can there's a theme right fox starts the game and then six minute mark 550 mark whatever that is mitchell's coming in then he's coming out like three minutes maybe you know like two minutes as a player you know that <laughs> like you're aware of w yeah. when you're out there. When yeah. it's that short, you know? I mean, if you've played any game, when you get out there and you're like excited and then you get yanked two minutes Dude. later, you're like, wait, that's it? And especially when there's stoppage of play and yeah, there's yeah, nothing, yeah. you had no control of anything, there's fouls, whatever, and it's just like, what do we, it, sometimes it feels like 30 seconds, you know? And that's, that's, it's a terrible feeling. It's deflating and it's like, always be ready, but it's like, what am I supposed to do within these 90 seconds if there's only so many possessions that I'm supposed to, you know, actually make a play and do something on? And so I think he's made the most of it, like you said. I agree. 14 points for him. He had four rebounds, too. Mm. Okay. I love the way he's been rebounding, yeah. crashing the boards. He had three assists. He's creating. He, two of his rebounds were offensive rebounds, too, which is yes. awesome. He played 25 minutes. Davion Mitchell deserves a lot of love because I think he's playing confident basketball.